Hello friends and family from Universal's Islands of Adventure. I thought it'd be fun to come out today, spend our day over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, over in the village of Hogsmeade here at Universal. We'll do some shopping in every single store that Hogsmeade has to offer. We'll check out a little bit of everything there, but I'm really excited to be here. The weather is absolutely picturesque, beautiful outside today. We have Hogwarts Castle right behind us, and I can actually hear the screams of Velocicoaster and the Incredible Hulk. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. But seriously, look at the view out today. Like I was saying, we had the Hulk going right there in the backdrop. I love it. And then right across the way, you have the Velocicoaster and also the uh, Hogwarts Castle is right there. Some really cool photo ops. And this is a really quiet little section as soon as you come inside of Islands of Adventure. I'm so excited for today's video though because there's some really awesome stores over in Hogsmeade. You have Filch's Emporium, Ollivander's, The Owl Post, and of course Honeydukes, the best sweet shop in all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Okay, so we're just making our way to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in the village of Hogsmeade. Actually, it doesn't look too bad for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Normally, the line is out here, outside of the entrance to Hogsmeade. No line at all whatsoever. That's really crazy. And check out over here, you have a Hogsmeade to London King's Cross. So this is Islands of Adventure to the studio side. That is only, let's see here, a 15 minute wait. One of my favorite things about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you could take the Hogwarts Express from over here at Hogsmeade to the studio side, and then over from the studio side over here to Hogsmeade, you just need a park-to-park -park ticket and you can board the Hogwarts Express. The crowd levels today over in Hogsmeade don't look too shabby though. You can see the Hogwarts Express there, like the uh, steam coming up on the top of the engine. Always one of my favorite photo ops here, the entryway going inside of Hogsmeade. And how fun is this? You can literally take your picture outside here at the Hogwarts Castle, platform nine and three quarters. You have the Hogwarts Express and even the uh, conductor of the train is out here. You can take a picture with the conductor or just the train in general. First up on our shopping tour though, I do want to head over to Honey Dukes, the uh, world's famous Honey Dukes I should say, for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They have a great selection of assorted candy and some really cool uh, things inside of the windows here. You have an eyeball bonanza, so this here is really neat. The uh, skeleton's eyeball pops out and it does go right down here into the little tray. You can see his eyeball down there. That is really neat. And some more other really cool photo ops that they have here with a uh, birdie box every flavored beans they have some of the packaging some ginormous jelly beans underneath but you have this absolutely massive birdie bots every flavored bean packaging okay though so as soon as you come inside honey dukes you can get some honey dukes branded uh, saltwater taffy this massive box with original packaging is really cool and then right next door you do have the lemon sherbet drops of course one of Dumbledore's favorites it comes in this really heavy plastic container that says honey dukes and then you do get all of the uh, lemon sherbet drops but it looks like they also have right underneath some fizzy whizzies they're calling these so lots of assorted different flavors inside of these collectors jars they have some pineapple cubes and they're right next door are some fruit balls here at Honey Dukes, they also have the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans with the Collectibles Keepsake. These come in a nice little tin packaging with the tassel. These are $25 a piece, but of course you do get the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans inside. And then right over here, they have some pumpkin juice sippers. These are $15 each, a complimentary pumpkin juice on your first fill. The packaging is so cool on here. And the uh, top of the pumpkin is where the uh, straw goes. It says pumpkin juice twice. This is really, really neat. Actually a cool little like Harry Potter prop. 
You can also purchase some Christmas ornaments. These are $24 a piece, just like the wizard cards that you get inside the chocolate frogs. I like the really fancy hanger. You have a Godric Gryffindor. Then over here, they also have Salazar Slytherin. These are lenticular though, really cool quality. They have Rarina Ravenclaw, and then Helga Hufflepuff. So they do have all four houses. And how about this underneath? They have like the uh, Honey Duke's window. These are really cool with the sparkly snow on top. $25 a piece with Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Bean. And you do even have like the whole Birdie Bot's packaging. It looks like there's real beans on the inside. These are $25. Check out some of the other merchandise that they have here though. Again with Birdie Bots. Let's see what we got doing. So this is a whole box set where you get the notepad. It looks like you get some ribbons, some tape, some paper clips, and then an ink pen. Let's see the old Price of Rooney. That one is $30. They even have a chocolate frog version. How cool is that though? And here's a bunch of your classic Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy. You have some caramel flavored bites. These are caramel cowbells. Let's see here, these are $7.95. They have some pink coconut ice, they're calling this. Creamy coconut confection. That's really interesting though. Some of the packaging at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is like second to none. You have some peppermint toads. Peppermint toads made with dark chocolate. They're actually in the shape of toads. Again, the packaging is just way cool. You have your uh, fudge flies. The right underneath is one of my favorite, the Fizzing Whizbees, for the packaging and the uh, candy themselves. They have like Pop Rocks inside. Let's see what they are, $11 a piece for the Fizzing Whizbees. And they do have both artificial sweeteners here. You just add these to your water. This is like the uh, Love Potion packaging, kind of like they have for the Noble Collection. These are $12 a piece, and they have a bunch of the Felix Felices, the Liquid Luck. Again, these are just artificial sweeteners for your water. I love how they sell all the Honey Dukes branded merchandise though for $82. They do have this comparable lounge fly bag with a nice simulated leather. With the pink accents, you get the little Honey Duke zipper pull. But you have like your chocolate frogs on there, your exploding bonbons, your pumpkin juice. That is really cool. And they do have a bunch of brand new Honey Dukes jewelry. Let's see what we got doing. Okay, well check this out. I love this. This is a bracelet. You have your chocolate frogs on there. This is really, really interesting. $25 a piece for the uh, bracelets. And then over here, they do have yet another one. This one just has your dangly Honey Dukes charm for $25. And it looks like they do also have a Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean version. Even a, quite a bit of different necklaces and uh, different earrings. They have a set of three chocolate frog earrings, $25 for them. And then right next door is also the uh, Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Bean, where you have like the characters and then some beans in general. These are $25. One of the snacks the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is definitely most known for is the chocolate frogs. They do have these in dark and milk chocolate now with the cardboard packaging. They also come with your wizarding card inside. These are three for $35 a piece or $14 for just one, but that is really neat. And they do also have some brand new chocolate frog wizard card mystery pins. There's a bunch of the different pins you can get from all four houses to Albus Dumbledore in the center. These are $16. You could even purchase your bulk Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy. It's $4.75 per quarter pound, then $19 per pound. But they have some assorted sour balls, some wrapped caramels, some uh, licorice. And let's see what else we got going on over here. Some jelly babies, sweet and sour drops, and then chocolate covered peanuts. So they do have a good selection of different candies. Look at this one here, some gummy fried eggs, some assorted fruit slices, but they even have peach slices and sour apple rings. How awesome is Honey Dukes though? The packaging and all the merchandise is just incredible. The whole store though and feel inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is just impeccable. I do want to carry on our way though and see what else we can find here in Hogsmeade. And actually right behind me is one of my favorite restaurants in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You have three broomsticks. There's actually always a line to get inside there. So I definitely recommend getting here a little bit early. Today's items they do have beef pasties, garden salads, and fish and chips.
It's a little bit chilly outside today. The line for the butterbeer cart isn't as big as it normally is. You can get your frozen butterbeer here, your cold butterbeer, but you do have to go over to Hogshead to purchase your hot. One of my favorites of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Next up on our Wizarding World of Harry Potter shopping tour, I do want to head over to Owl Post. Really awesome store. All of these stores here at the Wizarding World over in this section are kind of interconnected, like Ollivander's, the Owl Post. You can get lots of really unique merchandise, but the uh, windows here have a bunch of empty owl cages, and you can see some of the owl plushies that they have to offer. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, you can actually see like a bunch of packages that they have wrapped. So you used to be able to actually ship some of your packages out here at the Owl Post, which is really interesting. Let's head inside though and see what type of merchandise we can find here. They have a bunch of your owl plushies. These are great quality as well. They come with your Wizarding World of Harry Potter tags. The uh, head actually turns $22 for that one. And they do even have um, some, let's see here, puppet versions. These are really cool as well. The heads do turn. These plushies are so super duper soft. Let's see what we got doing. That one's $40. For $35, you can even purchase Hedwig and then Pidgewidgeon. You can get uh, both little plushies there. Those are really, really adorable. And they also have some leather bound notebooks. It looks like they do have all four houses. This is your Hufflepuff version with the uh, leather and then actually has the huge house crest that is metallic, $25 a piece. There's your Hufflepuff. Right next door you have Ravenclaw. Yeah, these are great quality. And underneath there you also have the Slytherin one with the snake. Okay, so I'm not seeing any Gryffindor here at the moment, but they do have Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and uh, Ravenclaw. Let's see what else we got doing here. Some more notebooks. This is uh, really cool, like movie props almost, advanced uh, potion making. This says a uh, Harry Potter lined journal. These are $25 a piece. And then over here they have dark art uh, defense, basics for beginners. Again, the packaging is incredible. The notebook itself, like look at these, $25 a piece there. And they do also have a really nifty one here with uh, uh, the Mystery of Magic from Bethilda Bagshot. Really neat, $25. For $18.95, you could even purchase your own howler where you can record your voice and actually ship this off. You can place your seal right there. But look at this, it opens up just like the movies do with the teeth and then the scroll. That is really, really neat. And then underneath there, they do have some planners with the Hogwarts. You have all the houses. It goes all the way Monday to Sunday. I haven't seen these ones before, but these are only $15. You can also purchase a good assortment of different Christmas ornaments. This again has the luggage with Hedwig on top. It has the Wizarding World of Harry Potter uh, tag and a nice little frilly to hang it by. These are $24 a piece. Underneath there they do have the Monster Book of Monsters. Look at that though with the eyes, the teeth, and then the tongue sticking out. Let's see what we got doing. $25 for that one. And then over here is a great little replica of Hedwig. These are actually very sizable and heavy. That also comes with the Wizarding Visiting World of Harry Potter tag and even have one of the acceptance letter uh, Christmas ornaments here where you can see the seal and then Professor McGonagall's signature. It says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. These are $19 a piece. And how about some of the different cards that they have? Like this one here is the Quibbler with the uh, Spectra specs. It says Breaking News at the bottom. These are only $6 a piece. Like how cool are these to like to put on your wall or potentially get framed? You have Lenticular Albus Dumbledore. It's says daft or dangerous just like the movie from the daily prophet that one is six dollars and it looks like down here they also have your uh, ticket for platform nine and three quarters again but these are in card form you have london to hogwarts for one way how neat it has Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the opposite side for $6. Right behind me are some of the different wands you could also purchase here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They have the Ollivanders uh, sticker on the end of them. So they actually have them on display that you can see them. That one there is Ebony. This one over here is really cool as well. This one's Poplar. This is really neat though how it's like engraved and kind of etched out of there. The packaging of these are just awesome though. You have Elm with the uh, silver accents. Let's see what else we got doing here. We have Walnut. You 
could even purchase some non-interactive wands here, but it does say personalization is available. See the uh, shopkeeper for details, but they have uh, Molly Weasley, Albus Dumbledore, uh, Sirius Black. Let's see if we can find the price. So these don't have the price on the uh, packaging, but they do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the opposite side. Right up ahead, they do have a lot of uh, Serafina Pickery. Up here you have Xenophilius Lovegood. These are really awesome, but they do have some kind of hidden in the top here. They have Geller Grindelwald. Let's make our way over to the next section. Here's some more personalized items you can get. Again, you have to see the shop uh, keeper for details. They have some really nice Christmas stockings. One is embroidered mom, and then you have dad. You have Gryffindor and Ravenclaw, but you can get a lot of your different items personalized. Like the different scarves that they have, these are so super duper soft. They say Wizarding World of Harry Potter on a tag. This one is to Emily, and then you do have one to Cat right underneath. But check this out. They do have some of the different uh, robes on display. Your Ravenclaw version with the embroidery for V. These are great quality. The inside of these actually has a little pocket for your wand so you can purchase your wand and not have to carry it around the parks, which is really neat. And then right behind there, they do have the Gryffindor uh, robe. Again, that one's embroidered to John. And here is the uh, collector's wands that they do have on display. Look at that one there, they have Harry's wand. And then another wand right behind there. These are the interactive versions personalized. They even have the very own monster book of monsters on display behind this case. Look at that. You can see the hair moving and the teeth. It's actually leather bound there with the strap. That is so crazy cool. They do sell a lot of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Quidditch gear. They have all four houses. These t-shirts are $37. It says established 1269 Quidditch team captain. They have the Gryffindor one. Right next door is also the Slytherin version. I love these though. The quality is really nice. It has S for Slytherin on the sleeve. Again, Quidditch team captain. Then right over here are some new t-shirts that were just recently released not too long ago. For Ravenclaw, you have Wisdom, Learning, and then Wit. At the bottom you have Verino Ravenclaw's diadem, $37 for that. And they do have a really cool Hufflepuff t-shirt. It says patience, uh, dedication, and then loyalty. At the bottom you have the Hufflepuff cup. And look at that, like the very nice attention to detail there. And then right behind here is a huge display of the uh, Spectra Specs. You can actually purchase them here. Like look at this, just like a Luna Lovegood would wear. But they do have them right underneath. The Spectra Specs are included. It says magic in 3D. You can purchase your very own Quibbler at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are $6.95. And definitely perfect for the weather we're having right now. They do even have a good selection of winter wear. These beanies say Hufflepuff, and then you have the embroidered Hufflepuff logo. $30 for that beanie. And they do have the matching winter gloves. Both of these uh, gloves are embroidered with Hufflepuff. And look at the tips here. You can actually use your finger and still be able to work your cell phone on the screen. $22 for them. And it looks like they do have two different versions of Hufflepuff hats. You have the keeper and then your trucker hat. Let's see the old price of Rooney. This says Quidditch on the backside, $27 a piece. But everything is sectioned off into all of the different houses, like your Ravenclaw hat, and then you also have your gloves, and then the trucker hats, again, are really nice quality. You have the Ravenclaw house crest on the side. It even says Team Captain. Let's see what we got doing in terms of price. These ones are $29. And then right behind there, they even have some Wizarding World of Harry Potter patches. They do have two different versions, actually, with your Quidditch Team Captain. These are iron-on patches for $13. You have Gryffindor, uh, Slytherin, but they all say established $12.69. Right next door is your Ravenclaw. And then last but not least is Hufflepuff. Really nice quality, but check out the uh, house crest patches that they have underneath. Again, these are literally the entire house crest. You have Slytherin. These are a little bit cheaper at only $8 a piece, but they do also have your Gryffindor, the Hogwarts house crest, and then Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. 
They also have some of the brooms here on display. Some Quidditch collectibles they're calling these. They have the Firebolt broom. Again, these are noble collection, the best of quality. Then they also have the Nimbus 2001 on display. Both offerings are $300 a piece. Look at this though, they have like the actual metal kickstands. You can see the ends of the broom. And then right up ahead is the Firebolt. I actually had that one before, that's really cool. And then underneath is a good selection of different items. Let's see what we have going on here. They have the Triwizard Cup, a little plastic replica. Let's see how much these guys are. This one does light up. Let's see here, $25 a piece for the Triwizard Cup cups. And then underneath there, they do also have all four houses in a water bottle form. This is your Gryffindor one. It says uh, Gryffindor team captain with your house crest logo and then a big G on the other side. These are $22 a piece. Right next door is Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Actually a cool thing with the Triwizard Cup, this actually screws off and you can use this as a normal cup. Like how cool is that? And it lights up. This is a great little prop for $25. And then right behind there, they do have some really nice embroidered merchandise. This one is Slytherin Keeper. That is all embroidered with the pinstriping on the sleeves. These are really soft. You can see the snake here in the bottom section. $40 a piece for them, but they do have all four houses. Right underneath, you have your Hufflepuff Keeper with the uh, badger there. Everything is embroidered. I do want to show you the other two offerings that they have. They do have the Gryffindor Keeper. This one features the huge graphic of the lion at the bottom. I can't get over how soft these are. $40 a piece. Whether you're over here in uh, Hogsmeade or over in Diagon Alley at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the studio side, always take a moment to look up. Like, how cool is this? You have three different brooms. They're actually moving. Such a cool little thing that they have doing. But everything is so perfectly themed all over at the Wizarding World. Like, up there, you can see a bunch of, like, ties and Quidditch gear. I can't get enough of the brooms, though. You could also purchase your Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes here as well. They do have all four houses. Kind of crazy with the sizing. They start with four extra small, then work their way up to 2x it looks like. Here's the uh, Slytherin versions. These are $139, but again on the inside there you can see the little sewn in pocket where you can hide your wand. Like that is way cool. Up here is a bunch of coffee mugs. This is your Slytherin version. It says pride, ambition, and then cunning. These are $20 a piece. And here's a Danielle Nicole a small size backpack. These are perfect for the parks. They do have these in all four houses. Look at the uh, shiny necktie and then your Slytherin logo. I do want to see how much these guys are. Let's see what we can find here. These are $88 a piece. Then underneath there, there's a bunch of different like pairs of socks and different things that they have. They have your Slytherin pairs, $14.95. And they do also have the Hogwarts pair of socks with all the different Hogwarts house colors. But what I love about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is all of the merchandise, especially the hair accessories. They have some scrunchies. These are $15 a piece. And they even have some headbands. Great quality. These actually match the uh, neckties that you can purchase. $20 a piece for them. And they're right underneath in these little baskets they do have for $39, the matching neckties. But right next to the Slytherin is all of the Ravenclaw merchandise. Like I said, they have everything sectioned off into your house. Like they have your Ravenclaw coffee mugs, wit learning, and then uh, wisdom. Then over here is your Danielle Nicole uh, small size backpacks. I can't get enough of the robes though. Again, these are amazing quality. They do have a little button in the center there where you can enclose it. And check out how pointy the uh, hoods are on the back side of here. Like these are totally like screen accurate. Look at that. You can be a, a witch or wizard walking around the wizarding world of Harry Potter. There's also an entire pin wall here, and these are perfect, especially for your robes. They have Head Boy uh, for all four houses. These are only $12 a piece. Like, these are actually just like a fraction of the uh, prices over in the Disney parks. They do have all four versions, again, for Head Girl. And underneath there is the Prefect badges. These are perfect for your house robes. Again, $9 a piece for the Prefect badges. Let's see what other types of pins we can find here, though. Like, Dobby is getting lots of loving. Look at this. He's holding his sock and then a scroll with his name. $11 for that one. This one over here says free the elves. Then you have a nice little graphic of Dobby on the bottom. Let's see, $9 for that. But even over here, like they have the Ollivander's logo. 
These are really nifty. $9 for a pin in a uh, theme park. I don't feel like that's bad at all. And then up here, they literally have like the uh, chocolate frog packaging on hinges. This does open up to a ginormous chocolate frog that literally smells like chocolate for $15. Also, if you are looking for a quiet place here, especially over in Hogsmeade, you can come behind the Owl Post and Ollivanders, behind the stores, over towards the exit to a Hagrid's Magical Creatures and get a really cool little photo op. Not too many people taking the walkway either. You can actually see the line for Hagrid's way up there, even over the bridge. But I do want to show you, get a little view here of uh, Hagrid's. You could even take advantage of some of the different carts that they have outside if you don't want to get stuck in some of the lines. This is a really cool kids graphic t-shirt from Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. You can see Hagrid, uh, Hogwarts Castle, some Cornish Pixies, and then Fluffy. $22 for that. And you can actually purchase one of the Scroots like you'll see over on Hagrid's Magical Creatures. This is a little pullback toy. $20 a piece for them. And then right underneath there, they have some posable uh, bendy Cornish Pixies. Let's check out some of the other offerings that they do have. Look at this, they have merchandise from Pan's Fantastic Beast over in Hogsmeade as well. Like look at the Niffler on the uh, coin pouch part here in the zipper compartment. You can see a bunch of jewels and little dangly faux lax accent uh, leather, a little feetsies. I do want to see the price of this. That is $82. And then underneath there, they do have the matching little wallets again with the fuzzy Niffler. These are $55 a piece, but all the coins coins are embroidered and they even have a little uh, bendy posable boat truckle down there. You absolutely have to take advantage of the free shows over here in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. Like we got to see some of the Tri Wizard Rally there, but they do also have the uh, Frog Choir. That's really cool, like especially for the holidays. There are so many incredible photo ops over in Hogsmeade as well. You have to take a picture with the snowman. Look at Hedwig on the uh, snowman's robe. Really just something else. A nice attention to detail with like the uh, robe that he's wearing, the scarf, and the nose. But right behind us you have, but right behind there you actually have Hogwarts Castle, one of the best photo ops here, probably in all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They do put on a nighttime show, which you can't miss it. There's a special one for the holidays and just a year-round show. But it's really cool because inside, you can actually do a special tour of Hogwarts Castle. They have a bunch of different uh, movie props and different things that you can check out. But of course, it's also an attraction for Bidden Journey. Well, but next up on our shopping tour, I do want to head into Filch's Emporium. That's actually located at the exit of Forbidden Journey. It's probably the biggest gift shop that they have in all of Hogsmeade, and they have a great selection of merchandise. Not too shabby today, though. It looks like Forbidden Journey is only a 35-minute wait. And you do not have to go on the attraction for Benny, Forbidden Journey to go inside Filch's Emporium. It's literally just a store at the exit of uh, Forbidden Journey. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, there's a lot of merchandise that I haven't seen in the other stores here in Hogsmeade. They have a Hogwarts alumni t-shirt with all the different houses, some embroidered pinstriping. These are $37 a piece. And then right next door is a very nice full zip hoodie. Look at the hood itself though. It says Hogwarts alumni. You have the Hogwarts crest there with all four houses. I do love the embroidered pinstriping though. The attention to detail on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise is seriously incredible. This is a nice women's v-neck again with the embroidered pinstriping on the sleeves You have the Hogwarts house crest that is $40 and it looks like they do have a very fuzzy throw blanket again This matches all that Hogwarts alumni. These are so heavy. Holy moly. This thing is absolutely massive 
And here are some of the matching coffee mugs, also Hogwarts alumni. It has this 3D effect with all the house colors. You have the crest on the inside. That whole design is on both sides of the mug. $21 for that one. Let's see what else we have doing. This one's really shiny. It's almost like, a, okay, so it's black. It looks like a different color on the inside, but I love the whole shape and size. It says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry on the opposite side. These are $21 for $65. They also have these really small size backpacks, again, with the simulated leather. They have a little uh, fuzzy ball as the zipper pull. They have all four houses, your Gryffindor one with the Gryffindor house crest. Right underneath is the uh, Slytherin version. Again, with the green, your Slytherin house crest. I do want to show you all four offerings. They have uh, Ravenclaw. I like how some of the house crests are like a bronze color and then some are silver. Like down here is the bronze colored Hufflepuff one. Let's come over to some of the other rooms that they have inside Filches and see what type of merchandise we can find. So here's a sun activated t-shirt. It says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This comes to life when the sun hits it. $40 for that. And they do also have a women's tank top here, which is also sun activated. Look at the uh, neckline. This is like an Under Armour no sweat material. $37 for them. And they do even have the uh, Marauders map here. Let's see what we got doing. So it does come with a wand as well, so you can actually like illuminate it. It says, with appearing footprints and sound effects, these are $60. There's a great selection of Marauders map merchandise. Here's a full zip hoodie. Again, it says Hogwarts on the top, Marauders map. These are $65 a piece. And they do also have some puzzles. Let's see what we got doing. This is a 300 piece puzzle. It says large 18 by 24 inch zig uh, jigsaw puzzle for $22. Here's a little section dedicated just to Dobby. They have the Harry Potter magical creatures. These again are noble collection pieces. You have that classic scene where Dobby is uh, pulling the sock out of the uh, book where he's a free elf. These are great quality. And then right next door is also a very large size Wizarding World of Harry Potter Dobby doll where he's in his screen accurate costume. These are cool though. You can actually push on them. Okay, so Dobby talks. Okay, so Dobby talks. That is extra awesome. Let's see what we got doing. $45 for Dobby. And then right underneath there is a nice little coffee mug. This is a... Uh it's like a matte black finish. It says Dobby is free where he's holding the sock. And then it says free the house elves on the opposite side. These are $21. There's even a good assortment of different plushies here. They have a bunch of little pick me puffs. You can squeeze these and they make sound. These are cool though because you can actually adopt these over in Diagon Alley at Weasley Wizard Wheezes. The uh, smaller size with sound effects is $20. The larger pygmy puffs are $34.95. They do have two different colors and these are absolutely massive. Like look at the uh, big pink one there. The little footsies are at the bottom and then the face. Inside of the cauldron is the purple version. Let's see what else we have doing here though. From uh, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. They also have some Hagrid plushies going strong here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Where he has his glasses and then his uh, classic trench coat. These are, let's see here, $35 a piece. And just like we saw over in Hogsmeade, they do have the little plushies here with the snowman wearing the Gryffindor scarf for $22. The store does kind of keep going over and over, like in all different directions, so you can get lost in here. Let's see what we got doing over in this direction. Here's a platform nine and three quarters t-shirt. Again, really nice quality. Has the huge graphic on the front. And then over here is a Hogwarts ticket backpack. It says for one-way travel, London to Hogwarts. Now these aren't lounge fly, but they are very nice quality, $65 for them. And then over here, it looks like they do also have a little bin of matching earrings. Nine and three quarters, you get your Hogwarts Railroad, and then your uh, ticket, three different pairs of earrings for $25. For $37 is the women's version of the Hogwarts Railways. This has a nice gold finish with the house crest. They have these up to size 3X. And then I do want to point out the size of the platform nine and three quarter shirt we just saw. These are $37, but even on the sleeve it says platform form nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express and kind of tucked away in the backside they have these really nice tapestry throw blankets with a huge graphic of the um, 
let's see here, the Hogwarts Express. I don't want to open this up because they do have these folded really nicely, but this is the graphic you get, 50 by 60 inches. You have the Hogwarts Express going through the forest. These are $85 a piece. Let's see what we have doing here in the opposite side of the room. They have a bunch of different banners. Let's see what we got doing. Determination, this is your Gryffindor one. Everything is embroidered. Courage and then bravery. Let's see what we got doing in terms of price. These are $27 a piece, but there's your Gryffindor. Right over here is the Slytherin version with pride, ambition, cunning. Underneath there they have Hufflepuff, dedication, patience, and loyalty. And then right next door is the uh, Ravenclaw one, learning, wit, and wisdom. But they have a great selection of even like Christmas ornaments. They got everything inside Filch's Emporium. Like how about these ones here with the uh, broomsticks and Gryffindor. They have their really fancy, fancy uh, attachments here to hang these on the tree. These are $19 a piece. Right next door is your Slytherin version, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. Let's actually check out a few of the other Christmas ornaments they have. And look at this one. It's actually like the entranceway of Three Broomsticks, the restaurant here in uh, Hogsmeade. These are $19 a piece. Right next door, you do have the massive butterbeer cart, an exact replica of what is over in uh, Hogsmeade. This is awesome. $25 a piece for them. And then right up ahead is the uh, Hogshead. That's the uh, saloon here inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is actually where you can purchase your hot butterbeer in a Hogsmeade and they do also have the uh, entranceway. This is a nice uh, heavy metal one. It says Hogsmeade on the bottom. Let's see what we got doing in terms of price. These are $19. And here's a bunch of brand new merchandise Universal just released. This is a pullover hoodie. It's literally a bunch of gold accents with all the spells that you can cast at the Wizarding World. These are $70 a piece but very very soft. It has a nice good like oversized pocket at the bottom on the pouch. And then over here is the uh, matching uh, backpack that they have. This has a clear front with like Stupefy, Wingardium Leviosa, Lumos, all of the different spells. But look at the gold hardware and different attachments. This is really nice quality. The cool thing about all of the merchandise here with the spells, they do even have some kitchen merch where it has the gold accents again with the different spells like surrounding this entire dinner plate. These are $19 a piece. It actually is pretty tall on the sides. Underneath there though, they also have some cereal bowls. Let's see what we got doing. So these bowls are black on the inside and then you have all the different spells on the outside. $17 a piece for them. And here's some nice ceramic, let's see here, uh, cups with the spells. And then it has the uh, black lid on top. These are $21 a piece. Some more new merchandise that they have at the Wizarding World. This is a brand new Deathly Hollows pullover hoodie with your symbol. It says Deathly Hollows at the bottom. But even on the hood of this hoodie, I do want to show you the nice pattern that they have with the Deathly Hollow symbol. Let's see here. These guys are $70 a piece. They have the matching plastic cups with that same design that's inside of the hoodie. These are $12 a piece, but the back side says Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And a bunch of other cool items that they have, like Deathly Hollows has been getting lots of loving lately. Here's a brand new adult size hat with your Deathly Hollow symbol. Let's see what we got doing. This one is $27. And here's the brand new Deathly Hollows t-shirt with that design. These are super duper soft. Let's see here, $37. You can even purchase a lot of your Wizarding World of Harry Potter Noble Collection items. Like they have Professor Slughorn's Hourglass, $160. And that actually does work where you can flip it. Over here they do have the Sorcerer's Stone where it comes encased there with a wooden base. They have Helga Hufflepuff's Cup, $50. And then right behind there, that huge like chalice, that's actually the Gryffindor Cup. And then right up ahead, this comes mounted on a ginormous base. They do have the Sword of Gryffindor. The attention to detail is so cool though. With all of the different rhinestones, it says Harry Potter. And then Godric Gryffindor growing down the side. And over here is the, from the Triwizard Tournament, you could even purchase the egg.
such a great time today hanging out here at Universal's Islands of Adventure and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's always a pleasure coming out, showing you guys all the newest merchandise the Wizarding World has to offer. It's absolutely beautiful outside today. And look at this, we have Hogwarts Castle right behind us. But if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video where we also offer shopping. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.